Welcome to the 300,000 subscribers, very special bike build. Enjoy. Alright, so the music is on, welcome again. It's been six years and this is going to be a little story about the channel, actually multiple channels and this bike. It's going to be a special bike because I want to convey a message once again on my channel, which is that you don't have to spend a lot of money to get a great ride for the purpose. It's not gonna be an XC bike as usually on my channel or trail or enduro. This is going to be your companion for many miles just around the globe. Yes, this is going to be a touring bike or bike packing bike. And I'm gonna throw some, some stories, some, some info about uh, how the channel grew and what could I do to make it grow faster and why I didn't. Thus, I think you're going to enjoy the story. First off, this is the bike, Cannondale GQ. And most of my subscribers uh, probably know the model, but this is the Silk model, which is actually a completely different beast. It's not a trail bike, it's not a gravity-oriented bike, it's a full suspension bicycle, which is made for bikepacking. You can be doing lots of kilometers or miles on this bike and feel great for many reasons. Number one, uh, well, the bike is cheap. <laughs> Today, this bike, uh, with all the equipment, accessories you're gonna see at the end, uh, would cost you about six, five hundred bucks. It cost me just around four hundred and eighty dollars, US dollars, uh, with the accessories. I didn't have to spend anything on the bike. I bought the bike used and complete from a Polish website, something like American Craigslist. Uh, I paid by money transfer and I have I had written a contract with the seller. It's always a good thing, especially when you're buying a bike by some well-known, let's call it premium brand like Cannondale. Uh, you know exactly you have the proof that you have bought the bike and whom did you bike did you buy the bike from? Another tip, if you wanna buy cheap, don't go with the mainstream. Mainstream means, for example, this niche, which is backpacking, everyone would love, would love to have a new gravel bike, used gravel bike, and the prices of the gravel bikes will be pretty high. No one is searching for such an old 26 inch wheels, full suspension weirdo, but this bike is great. Why is it so? It has very stiff chassis, it has very stiff head tube, it's 1.5 inch, both upper and lower bearing. You wanna have stiff head tube for bikepacking, for riding with the weight both front and rear on your bike. Full suspension, I would say it's an added value here because this bike will be less rough on your butt and on your back on those long rides, maybe back to back, day by day, many hours in the saddle. The saddle is also special here because it's an air saddle. You're gonna see that a little bit later on. So enjoy watching those tools working on the bike. And a couple of info about the channel. So this is a special special delivery video because we just surpassed 300,000 subscribers thank you so much for being with me but that's not all I also started just a year ago a German channel and we surpassed 10,000 subscribers there and as speaking German is much more difficult for me than speaking English and of course than speaking Polish maybe even Icelandic I, I love languages uh, I really value what I can do on the German channel uh, and I'm so happy that the German people, German cyclists uh, actually like what I do even though I don't have a German accent at all. I'm trying, I'm learning. I would also like to learn Spanish, I would love to do that. But anyway, 10,000 subscribers on the German channel called Supreme Biker DE from Deutsch, German. Then we have 300,000 here. 
Uh, and I will also have very very soon, I think, quarter of a million on the Polish channel called Shy Bike. And also, uh, I have 99,000 um, watchers, uh, followers on the Facebook fan page, which is called Sh uh, Shy Bike. So. All together, it really makes me happy. It, it, it makes me enjoy the fruits of my work. And believe me, I'm, I'm not lying to you here. The money is not the most important thing here. So, a couple of things about growing YouTube channel. It's very easy when you do the analytics and look what you're doing and what's the, the outcome. First thing first. I started Polish channel in June 2016. After six months, I was making about $400 a, a, a month. Uh, but since the Polish channel was actually taken down after a month of, of me working on it because of some cheating on, you know, clicking on my, my own ads, that's what the algorithm thought. They just closed that channel. I started another called Shy Bike a month later, re-uploading all the videos I was able to archive. And then I thought, hmm, couldn't I be doing that in English also? And then a month later, I got email from Google. And we are sorry, the algorithm was wrong. or It was said, I think we were wrong and we are um, giving you that first channel back. That channel was called Canon Denny. Uh, and I thought, okay, so the Canon Denny is going to be my English channel. Then I changed the name to Shy Bike, uh, but I thought it was too close to High Bike. And so we've got Sick Biker. Uh, and probably, uh, you know, with the names, I'm, I'm really bad with the mar marketing. The sick biker, because the bikes are sick and doing all that stuff is sick. Uh, but I think Supreme Biker would would be even nicer. So maybe, maybe we will change it in the future. I'm not sure about that. The German channel is called Supreme Biker DE. All right. So I'm sorry for all that confusion with the names. I got some messages from you. Uh, saying uh, to you, you've you've done this twice already. I'm um, unsubscribing, and it's fine for the people to unsubscribe me. Actually, do you know I didn't count the number of the subscribers really. I remember I did some special on 100 sub subscribers on the Polish channel, and I think I I haven't given you any special videos so far on the English one. And I just noticed two weeks ago that I have 299,000 subscribers. And in the meanwhile, I was preparing to the 10,000 subscribers on the German channel special video. And I thought, okay, I'm going to do it together. But you were too quick and the 300,000 subscribers we surpassed last week, uh, like six days ago. Thank you so much for that. Okay, how to grow the channel, do the analytics. When I started that English channel, uh, one of the first videos I did was um, removing the paint from old Cannondale, once again Cannondale. And you love that video, uh, it, it's got over a million views or maybe even more. You see, I'm not even counting that. It did great. Then I was doing anything I was actually doing in my, in my, in my shop. Uh, I would do the videos about, like uh, changing the crankset, what's the difference between mechanical and hydraulic disc brakes and, and so on and so forth. Some videos were very... V were hits on YouTube and some got like 5,000 views uh, or 20, 30,000 views. Tip to you, if you want to mainly focus on growing the channel, do the thing that your uh, viewers love. So when, when I saw that my viewers loved removing the paint from that Cannondale, if I kept going with the topic of painting the bikes, removing the paint in different ways, uh, testing different chemicals for removing the, uh, the, the paint and doing bike builds, finding out what, what, what new videos, videos were going half viral or viral, I would have a million subscribers by now easily. Why didn't I do it? 
it's because I want my channels to be sustainable. You see, I have three bicycle channels. I also have a channel about uh, excavator and some construction works because I love that too. When you do the things you love, this is going to be sustainable. And maybe one in 20 of my videos will go at least half viral on YouTube. But this is something I can keep going for years because I love riding bikes. I've been doing some vlogs for you. I've been doing some uh, reviews, testing, comparing and so on. And I know I love it. I feel well when I upload uh, things like building this bike. I just loved searching for used bikes and finding this one on the internet. It's been great, great uh, for me so far, but it hasn't been very strategic with me. It hasn't been. So especially if you're having business and you want your YouTube channel to promote that business, I highly recommend that you focus on, um, on the content that your viewers will love. And it's so easy, guys. You just, you just go and visit other similar channels, which already maybe have a million subscribers. Go to the videos sort by most popular and do the thing do similar don't steal content but do similar things similar stuff in similar way maybe uh, which is 19 which gives you 99 percent of certainty that uh, your videos will do very very well so uh, what are my plans uh, for the future um, i'm going to do more tutorials because i also see that you love tutorials and you know what? I am probably the strongest uh, cycling YouTuber in terms of how-to videos. I also want to take my skills to the next level. Not everything I've, I've been showing you was, uh, you know, top-notch um, servicing knowledge. Most of it, yes, uh, but I also want to improve my skills and share those skills with you guys. That's what I'm going to do uh, in the future. I'm not going to be uploading as much as in, in the past, like two, three times a week. It's going to be hopefully once a week. I would love to do that. And that was the first day of that bike build. We are now into the second day, the final day. And this is my new workshop tools holder. Uh, my subscribers are asking me, Dan, what's this condemned place you're in? <laughs> you like it actually, because I also do like those old walls and everything in that house and that uh, big workshop. The workshop is huge and there's lots of work on it, but I'm doing it. So this is the place I bought. It was really cheap because it's in very bad conditions. Actually, most of the people would not be renovating it, but they would just just tear it down and maybe build something new. I am renovating it, especially the, the workshop, which is going to be very, very big. I'm not sure about the future of this place, uh, but I knew I needed the space. I needed the space to have many bikes and many tools and do a lot of content uh, this winter. I'm preparing for really, really strong, strong videos for 2022 so that you have something nice to watch, but also things to uh, the knowledge to draw from, from my videos. All right. So this is the short story about that place. This three by nine drivetrain works beautifully. Although I would prefer two by nine or two by 10. Uh, you don't actually need a triple crank set, but this one actually will get you anywhere. Some people say that in bikepacking, there is never too many gears. At least the ratio. The ratio on this drivetrain is huge, huge, and you are you are good to really climb any mountain with very, very heavy load on your bicycle. That's what I love about this bike. It's actually a complete bike. It's cheap. It's great. It's stiff. I love it. And there is not so many scratches on the frame set even. Okay. So little story about the YouTube channels um, again. Why did I start also the German one? Uh, I did it because I like challenges. Uh, I also already have many scripts for many videos, uh, which I already did in Polish and, uh, and English. I don't really reuse the same materials, maybe just some of it, like 5%. I'm just um, making the videos of the 
new, uh, making just a new content in German, but using also some scripts, some tricks, some things uh, I also knew that you, that you already liked on this channel. And I love it. Guys, it is not difficult to reach 1 million subscribers. I'm telling you that as 300,000 subscribers YouTuber, but it's not really difficult. If that's your important goal, go for it. Uh, it's not my goal. My goal is uh, definitely to sustain this channel, but I see that as I'm doing better content and the content that in maybe 20% of my channel is actually evergreen, I know it grows. The channel grows, it's, it's very strong and YouTube likes me uploading those how-to videos because people are also searching for them. So it's not only the so-called browse features or the videos that the algorithm is is uh, just um, letting pop in front of uh, your eyes as the viewers, but you are searching for different topics and those topics are to be found on my channel. So whether it's um, cycling, um, have you seen the new channel Sid Fixes Bikes? It's a couple who's racing in, in cross country. That's, that's pretty much my life, but they are pro or half pro, I'm amateur. Uh, and now they make her doing those tutorials people love it and i and i love it that th there is really space a place for many more youtubers um, in cycling but maybe you're playing guitar maybe you're doing whatever don't just think like oh there's already so many tutorials about that try it you won't know if it's gonna work if you don't try it and i have failed with many things along the way uh, the most important thing for me right now is actually turning different things down, making me focus on first writing and second making content. Because you can clearly see some channels which are all about making content and when they say they have they are reviewing the bike the bike looks like it's been ridden for one mile and they are telling you all that stuff from the catalog about all the angles and new geometries and and blah 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 but they don't really lift the bicycles the the bikes and and everything i love it i love building bikes i love riding bikes i love wim hof wim hof Big thanks for your breeding method. Um, I've been doing it for, I think, two years already. I'm doing the cold water immersions. I'm not using hot water almost at all, just cold, cold showers. And it's amazing. Just look how this drive train works. Pretty good, huh? And this is the air seat. Wonderful. You can uh, pump it up to 5 PSI. And I'm telling you, it's pretty comfy. I still prefer hard seats with a huge cutout uh, in the middle. But this, this looks pretty comfy. And the option of um, washing that cover for the seat is great. Because many hours on the saddle means sweating on the saddle that means lots of bacterials bacteria on the saddle uh, so it's much better for your hygiene to actually be able to wash your the cover of your saddle now the bags the back and the at the rear is 78 liters and the one at the front mm, i'm not sure how many liters it is it's waterproof and i'm telling you you can take anything with you to the trip this is the 78 uh, liters uh, you see the mattresses, uh, just tent, anything you need goes in there. Sleeping bag, the food, just anything. And this 26 inch wheels bicycles with a dynamo in the front half is stiff but also it's, it's surprisingly light. And believe me, this is very very handy. Having shorter bike, lighter bike is handy. It's just lighter, lighter to go up the hill, but also sometimes you'll be traveling by, by a car. Uh, sometimes you'll be getting it, squeezing it into a train, 
26 inch wheels, in my opinion, great, great choice. The handlebars give you many different options of putting the palms on it, which is great for many, many hours. Full suspension, comfy, stiff. And with the accessories, it was just about $500. I loved it. Thank you so much for being with me. Stay tuned for more tutorials and bike builds and take care guys, ride your bikes. So this is the 300,000 subscribers special Cannondale Jekyll Silk, a new Cannondale Jekyll, all of you probably do, but not the Silk version, which means we have a touring bike which can take a lot of beating, you can put a lot of weight on it and it will take you anywhere in the world. Thank you so much for being with me from the very beginning and See you in the next one with another project, I guess.